everybody. Today is Sunday. I almost said Friday there because apparently I'm going crazy. That's a great way to start a video blog. Slightly unfortunate thing is that I don't really have a book to talk about today, but I don't want to say anything about Mockingjay even though I finished it and that was the last book I read. I always try to review the last book I read while it's still like fresh in my mind. So I'm kind of at a loss here. I've got a lot of books in my to read shelf over there. Um, that I'm really excited about reading, so hopefully I'll have a couple of those done by next Sunday. So this week's theme is, let me double check my email. Hi, you read YA. What book got you into YA? If you could read, if you write and write YA, why do you write YA? And what book <laughs> made you want to write? This is a really good theme. I really like it. My mom is an English literature major. She actually got to know my dad in a creative writing class. Obviously, reading and writing and literature was always really important in my family since the very beginning. Ever since I was a little little kid I was always you know pushed to read and to write. That didn't really work out for me for the first maybe 11, 10 or 11 years of my life until I discovered Harry Potter right back there. A lot of people classify Harry Potter in children, some people classify it in YA, but I kind of think it's like an ageless series, so I won't really say that that's like the YA book that got me into YA. The thing that really drew me into wanting to read and specifically read YA was because after I discovered the Harry Potter series, I went online and I found out about Wizard Rock and I found out about all these online communities. Like I said, the book that really got me into YA didn't really show up until a little bit over a year later. The Midnighters trilogy by Scott Westerfeld. I was just blown away by the story and the writing and they're some of my favorite books and after I discovered them I like was sold. Up until then I was like I was still kind of a reluctant reader sort of stuck in my post Potter depression. But once I found these books I was just thrown into this world of YA. One of my favorite things about YA is that it kind of feels like Every single book has a chance. Not, you know, to be the next Twilight, I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about every book has a chance to have inform and start its own community. I can't even think of a single YA book that doesn't have at least some form of community surrounding it. More than the books, even though I love them. More than the websites, even though I love them. The thing that I love most about YA and the thing that keeps me reading YA and the thing that got me into YA is discovering the fact that no matter where you turn, you're always going to hit a community. You can choose to be part of that, you can choose not to be part of that, but that's always an option. Every book is going to have the people who love it. Helicopter, go away! And I do write YA. I write YA kind of for the same reason I read it, in hopes that someday, if I ever get to publish it, if I ever get to become a published author, I might get the chance to have this community. Beyond that, I've just made so many amazing connections to so many amazing people in the world of YA literature that they've just all really inspired me. I can't really imagine writing for anyone else. These are the books that I love to read, so naturally these would be the books that I would want to write. And the book that made me want to write was probably Harry Potter. I mean, I could go on and on and on about Harry Potter for like three hours. I love everything by Scott Westerfeld, everything by John Green, and everything by Maureen Johnson, and I love The Catcher in the Rye. So, I mean, like, I have all of these books that, like, have just over time, in a way, kind of shaped my own writing. I can't really, you know, pinpoint just one that has made me want to write. That's about it. Bye!